Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing another set of darts that was sent to me from SHOT from the Carl Anderson range and these particular ones are called the Desert Boomer. It's a straight barrel dart so let's check them out. So these are the 23 gram version, they're 80% tungsten. You can also get them in 24, 25 and 26 grams in steel tip and 18 and 20 grams in soft tip and they retail for £64.95. So as you can see the darts come in the usual slim cardboard packaging and this one is the Desert Boomer so it's got a kind of a desert theme, kind of brown and copper oranges and it says on the back, uh, inspired by the rich ochre colours of the Outback. So there you go. And obviously, you may not have noticed, there's a little kangaroo on there. And that's meant to represent strength. And they come with the copper orange in between eagle claw stems. And another very nicely designed set of small standard flights. Darts fit with a black coated point and it's a straight barrel dart, very nice looking dart and they've got a tapered bull nose with a thin micro grip section and then there's three distinct sections so on the front. It's a mix of thin rings and wide grooves and then this section with the uh, notches cut through the rings. On the middle you've got a double thin ring grip with wide grooves and on the rear it's kind of a mix of shallow flat rings with the milled tracks cut through it that uh, track grip is representing kyle's journey um, just a theme with the aboriginal culture and on the rear end of the barrel you've got a smooth section with the logos and the kyle anderson original name but uh, it looks great with that copper orangey coloured titanium coating and it should work for front middle or rear grippers quite a comfortable dart as well just about the right thickness for me but uh, really neatly done and there's your eagle claw stems and another set of very well done aboriginal style artwork on the flights That's fit with a black coat 28mm point. It's got a slightly tapered bull nose with micro grooves on. That's 4.3mm. Then you've got a section of thin rings and grooves. That's 4.4mm. And then another section of ring grip. And it's got notches cut through but it's also scalloped. That's 7.3mm. Around the middle it's a double thin ring grip with wide grooves. That's 12.5mm. On the rear you've got the tracks grip which is kind of a mix of rings and grooves and the milled cuts that's 12.5 millimeters another section of thin rings and grooves of four millimeters on the end is a smooth section of 5.8 millimeters length is 50.8 millimeters width is 6.75 millimeters <laughs> Twenty three point zero five grams again and twenty three point zero six grams. So nearly perfect. Full setup twenty four point five six grams. With nothing attached, the balance is just a little front of centre and with the supplied setup it moves exactly to the centre point. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Overall it's a medium level grip and I think the centre section is probably the grippiest. So 6 for the centre and around about 5 to 5.5 for the rest.
I haven't measured the darts yet. I usually do it after I've done everything, but I'm quite certain that front section, it definitely feels like there's a, a very subtle scallop. Whether it's to do with them notches, I'm not really sure, but it feels quite comfortable in the fingers there. So when I measure it, I'll just measure that section just to be sure. Um, not overly grippy there, but um, feels quite a nice thickness. The only problem I'm having, as usual, is my fingers falling off the point a little bit. So. But that's just me. Um, the middle section, that just seems like a nice straight parallel double ring grip. Uh, so just your basic style of grip there, feels a little bit more grippy. Um, I don't think it's exactly in the middle though, looking at it. It looks as if it starts closer to the front, but... Good looking dart though, that coppery orangey titanium cotton, really nice. And when the light's glinting on it, looks really nice and shiny. Oh, messed all up that there. But it's a straight barrel, so it'll work for front, middle, or rear grippers. Um, I'm not sure where that rear section has got a scallop. It could be just where the milled track cut is. It makes it look like that, but it doesn't feel as thingy as the front. The, the front definitely feels like a scallop, but I'm not so sure about that rear section. I can feel a bit of a, a gap where the milled section is though. Flying better from the rear than I was expecting it to. Last go. Somebody said those, what I call arrows, are meant to represent kangaroo footprints. Let's check out the ratings. A very nice looking dart, so I'll give it 8.5. Grip, overall the highest is 6. And weight match, nearly perfect, 9.5. Quality, again very good from shot, 9. Value, a little bit cheaper on this one, so 6.5. So that's the Shot Desert Boomer. A uh, very nice looking barrel. Maybe just a little bit on the long side for me, but I do like the feel of that front section. Um, it's just around about the right thickness for me, but it's got a very subtle scallop feel to it. it just feels very nice. Um, not particularly grippy on the front and rear, but a little bit more grippy around the middle. And definitely should work fine for middle and rear grippers as well. But uh, another very nice looking barrel from Shot. And like I said before on the other review, that Aboriginal theme running through all the the new Kyle Anderson range it's very good uh, the graphic designers from shot have really done some good work on that 
So that's the end of the review. I'll leave you with the gallery and I'll see you on the next video. Happy darting.